Gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome once again on SLTV Lab. My name is Mr. Shadrach Kamurimi. Today we are going to see the first video about ECG interpretation. I'm saying it's the first video because we'll see more video about ECG interpretation. ECG interpretation is very huge, so we cannot cover it in one video. Let's see part of the normal ECG. There is P wave, there is Q wave, there is ALA wave, S wave, T wave, and sometimes U wave. U wave, we are, we are going to talk about it because in the previous video we didn't talk about it. So, between a wave and another one, there is what we call a segment. Here it is PR segment. A wave and a segment is P wave and this segment is called PRI table. From the beginning of P wave to the beginning of Q wave, that is PRI and table. Good. QRS complex, here it is its duration. QRS complex duration. So from the end of S wave to the beginning of T wave, it is ST segment. You remember? Between a wave and another one, it is a segment. So from the beginning of ST segment to the end of T wave, it is ST interval. So in a wave and a segment, it is an interval. Then at the end, there is your wave here. Then from the beginning of Q wave to the end of T wave, it is QT interval. Do you get me? This is QT interval. Let's see what happened in the heart at every part of the ECG. So let's start with P wave. Remember, P wave stands for atrial depolarization. Depolarization indicates contraction. So this is number one. There is action potential, action potential spreading into both atria. Good, but not fully. This is P wave. Then at two, which is PR segment, action potential has spread throughout all atria. Now all atria fully contracted. Good. Let's see three. Three, it is QR S duration. Then here, the atria are relaxing. What we call a repolarization. Here there is atria repolarization and then the beginning of ventricular depolarization. You see? Good. Depolarization has started from the apex of the heart. This is number three. At four, ST segment, now action potential has spread out into all ventricles. All ventricles are fully depolarized, are fully depolarized and they are contracting. Good. At five, five which is T wave, now a repolarization of the ventricle has started. This green color stands for repolarization or relaxation. So relaxation has started from the apex of the heart. Then at six, here, a I mean a repolarization good repolarization is into all ventricles they are totally relaxing then U wave U wave is not commonly seen on ECG it's rarely seen on a few patients so U wave it stands for something normally it stands for what we call after potential I'm saying after potential because researchers have agreed recently that it is time for after potential. After potential means there has been an action potential. And after that action potential, another action, another action potential occurs. That is what we call after potential. But here, this action potential will not make ventricle contract again. No but it will be represented on the electrocardiogram after potential. Every electrocardiogram paper 
has this square. They, be, they are big squares, but randomly I have picked two, these three, then I have drawn other small squares within this big square. So, all these squares, don't, don't think that electrocardiogram just look like this. These squares are full of small squares, but I have drawn these just randomly to show you. Good, this big square equals to 0 0.2 seconds. It takes 0 0.2 seconds for this big square. Good, then small square, you see in every big square, at one side it is five small square. So you take 0 0.2 divided by five, which is 0 0.2. 0, 4 seconds. That is the duration of small squares. Why are we saying the seconds? We, you are going to understand it very soon. We see PR interval should measure between 0 0.12 up to 0 0.20 seconds, which is 3 up to 5 small squares. Do you get me? PR interval should be between three to five small squares, which means if PR interval is beyond 0 0.2 seconds, there is something wrong. In other videos, we'll see what will be happening within the heart. QRS width will be between 0 0.08 up to 0 0.12 seconds, which is two to three small squares. You get me if it is beyond this or below this there is something thank you very much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to hit subscribe and like the video and why not send it to your colleagues so that they may get this information may god bless you so much don't forget to please like subscribe and the bell